Hey everyone, Dennis Kay here with Belize Islands Real Estate. Hey, listen, I did an interview um, last week with a very good client of ours named Eric Hall. And uh, it was about the uh, property that he and several of his friends purchased right here on this peninsula. Uh, so they ended up being able to purchase all three of these lots, 8434, 8433, and uh, 8432. So they're going to be doing a really cool eco resort on these properties right here. And if you didn't have a chance to go back and uh, and see that, I'll put the listing link or not the listing link, but the video link in the video description below. So you can go back and watch that. But Eric Hall is a really cool dude. And what I like about him too, is he's documenting his process. So from the time he started to research property to the time he found the property, closed on it, and now moving ahead with getting it cleared and filled and looking at what to build, he's going to be documenting all of that on his YouTube channel. But uh, since that video went out on my channel and his, I've been getting several emails for potential clients looking at what might be available in this general area because they like this area just north of Secret Beach. And in fact, I do have a brand new listing to tell you about, and it's just south of Eric's property. So Eric's property is here, all right, 8433, these three properties right here. And if you just go south, I have this brand new listing to tell you about. It is parcel number 8676. All right, 8676. Now, the Google Earth overlay right now map that I'm using uh, does not show this lot as having access, uh, but actually the owners of these two properties recently had this road put in. So these two properties do now have a very nice road to access them. Uh, this one is not for sale, 8677 is not, but 8676 is for sale. And I want to give you all of the details in this video. So stay with me if you're interested, that is. So I'm going to pull up. Doo, doo, doo. There we go. All right, there we go. So the price on it is $285 US with road access. And the seller will entertain seller financing. So he needs 15% down. And it'll finance the balance at 10% interest for up to a 30-year AM, which is excellent. Keeps the payment low for the new buyers, and they can pay off the property whenever they want, uh, up to seven years. So there's a seven-year balloon payment. And if you pay it off sooner than the seven years, there's no prepayment penalty either. Now, what can you do with this property? Why is it priced the way it is? Well, first of all, you have road access. So you have um, you know, easy, easy to develop right now. You can start developing today on the property. Plus, you have waterfront access. So this lot sits right on this little bay of water here. And if we look at one of the original plot maps for the area, going back to 2002, when this was all subdivided by the Belize government, uh, it's known as parcel number 389 or lot 389 on this map. And you can see it's got 1,608 square meters. Uh, that's the property size itself, which ends up to be 17,308 feet. All right. So it's a really, really big lot. Uh, by comparison, if you're looking at other lots in the area, an average Grand Belize lot is 60 by 75 or 60 by 80 or about 4,500 square feet. An average Palmyra Woods lot is 60 by 100, which is still really nice, which is 6,000 square feet. And on a Palmyra Woods lot, uh, you can fit a very nice two-bedroom home and a pool and two single-family casitas. So imagine you have a, a really nice property there on 6,000 square feet. Well, this property here that we're selling uh, for 289 or 285, that's um, almost three times the size. So you can really do a lot with it. Your average secret beach beachfront is 60 by 130 or 7,780. Uh, not, I should take away a zero there. Uh, 7,780 square feet. So you see it's almost another 10,000 square feet of building space that you're getting. In addition, what you see here is you have your road access in front, plus you have your uh, beach reserve. And then back in the day, when this was subdivided, the government of Belize termed this area a future marina area. Now, will that ever happen? You know what? We don't know. Um, it, but 
it's interesting when you look at that entire west side of Amherst Key, this is one of the only places uh, in the 25 miles long um, beachfront of the west coast where you could actually have a nice size marina. No, it, it would have to be dug out because right now it's pretty shallow in there. Um, but, you know, look, moving forward, not a bad place to be if you're looking for a good investment property. So what else can I tell you about this property? All right. Um, off grid, of course, everything in the Seeker Beach is off grid right now. So it means your electric is going to be by solar, your fresh water by rainwater cistern or wells, and your self-contained septic system for your waste. And um, it is zoned commercial or residential. So you can build a single family home, multiple homes. You can build Airbnbs, apartments. You can go up to at least three stories. Uh, but on a property this size, you can probably go four stories because you have the, the square footage. So the San Pedro Town Council may allow you actually to go up to four stories on this property. And you'd have amazing views. You'd have 360 degree views, absolutely beautiful. And let me see if I can um, share with you uh, a view, a drone view of uh, what Israel just took for us yesterday. Yeah, you know what? Let me see if I can bring this up. It's it's not 100% to scale, but you can see the work that's been done in filling of the road. Yeah, there we go. So 8676, so you can see the road here is coming in now through here, accessing both of these properties. And so both of these properties do need fill, but you know you have what has been filled now is this area going out to reach the water line. All right, so when you develop here, if you have a kayak, you have a boat, you can put a small pier out here. And like I said, with, with this, with a shallow draft boat, like a Mexican skiff, you should be able to get out to the west coast of Amherst Key and then go to the north. You can scooch up to the north, go through the Mexican cut, and you'll be out to the reef. Or you can go south, down around the south part of the island, and be out to the reef as well. So really, really cool property. Nice, safe, secure. Um, can't say enough good about it. All right. So listen, you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, I will put my email address in the video description below. And again, if you haven't seen the video where I interviewed Eric Hall, or rather he interviewed me, um, go ahead and I'll, and watch that. I'll put that link down there. That'll give you a really good idea of the kind of people who are investing in, in this area, in these lots. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. You have a great day. Hope you're doing well. And we'll talk to you soon.